Hi you guys, it's Linnea with a video for Simon Hurley Create and today I'm going to be using a couple of some of my favorite products. The Frostbite stencil is a new stencil and I'm completely in love with it. So to start off, I'm going to be using the Painted Lines stem or uh, stamp. It's a rubber stamp and so I'm just going to ink it up with some warm gray-ish ink and it is the Simon Hurley Create Woof ink pad. So I'm just stamping that and I'm going to place my card base directly onto the rubber stamp. There's lots of ways that you can use rubber background stamps. You can use your Misty if you have one or the Tim Holtz platform, but I have found that it's just as easy to ink up the background stamp and then just lay my card right on top and just rub my fingers around and press my card stock into the rubber stamp and you're going to see when I remove my card here I got a perfect stamped image. So now it's time to do a little bit of ink blending and stenciling. So I have the frostbite stencil and there are some thin lines and some of uh, the stencil has a bit of detail to it. So I'm using my pixie spray and I'm going to adhere that onto a piece of card stock and I'm using the Pixie Spray just to make sure that when I add this to my cardstock, it's not going to shift when I am ink blending. When I ink blend, I have like the arm strength of a lumberjack. <laughs> I have a tendency to smudge and to lift up my stencil. So Pixie Spray really is like a lifesaver for me. So I grabbed three Simon Hurley Create ink pads. I have Rosy Cheeks, Remember Me, and Triple Berry. And I just love mixing these three inks together. They blend together so well, and they create gorgeous colors when you overlap them. So I'm using my blender brushes and just adding random, well not random, but like these three colors to various areas of my stencil. and. It's okay if I don't get every little bit covered because I plan to actually use my scissors and I'm going to cut out the stencil piece and add it to my card front. So I'm just going in and making sure, I'm trying to make sure that I have equal representation of all three colors. But you know, when you overlap the Remember Me and the Rosy Cheeks, I'm going to create a purple anyway. So. I'm trying not to overlap those two colors too much, but I love when the rosy cheeks and the triple berry overlap. It creates kind of like a reddish color. It's so, so pretty. You can kind of see it up there in the top right now. So I've used my scissors and I'm cutting right up to the stencil line where the stencil lays my white cardstock is showing through. And so that is where I'm cutting up to. And you can kind of see me here, I'm playing around with how I want to add this onto my card base. And finally I figured out which way and which part of the stencil I want to be showing. So I laid that onto my stencil, or onto my card base rather, I used my scissors to cut off the excess and then I just popped it up with some foam tape. And now I'm trying to figure out where I want to put my sentiment. This sentiment is from the Caroling Squad stamp set, which is also one of the Simon Hurley Create new stamp sets, one of my favorites that he just released. And this is my finished card. I hope you love it, and I will catch you guys next time. Bye!